Our next comedy adventure takes us all the way back to the years of the BC, and that's no BS. Hello to everyone watching, and thank you once again for tuning in to my favorite websites, realscreenreviews.com and welivefilm.com. I am, of course, movie critic Nick Iacobucci, and our next movie review is The Crudes. This animated family adventure opened in wide release on the 22nd of March 2013, and it stars the voice talents of Nicolas Cage, Ryan Reynolds, Catherine Keener, and Emma Stone. This film comes to us from the directing team of Kirk Demi and Chris Sanders and however they have never worked together previous to this film uh, separately they are responsible for some of the biggest animated hits that Hollywood has ever produced this tale tells pretty much of the first family and I don't mean the one in the White House I mean literally the first family in time after a natural disaster this family is forced out of a cave that has always given them shelter and the result is the shock and awe as they discover this new and spectacular world that they have been missing out on this soon proves to be an incredible journey of adventure, growth, maturity, and change. Well, people, I will start by saying that even though The Crudes is a step below Pixar quality, it is still well above average. This is a wonderful looking film that will stun your eyes with its brilliant use of colors and imagery, and it is also funny enough to compare it to the famous Looney Tunes cartoons every now and again. Believe it or not, Nicolas Cage was surprisingly good as the father, bringing a fair amount of sympathy to the character. Then Ryan Reynolds was also funny as this brainy thinker, and it was nice to see him stray from his comfort zone, even if it's in an animated film. Film. Emma Stone's sweet and raspy voice perfectly fit this anti-princess character and I personally don't think that this girl can do anything wrong. Stone's character is both strong and physical which is something new and different and that's the biggest reason that I like her in the first place. Now there are some other things to compliment as well. There is an amazing shot <clears throat> excuse me there is an amazing shot of a 180 degree dive into water that was well worth the price of admission all its own and the 3D was effective in sequences like this throughout the film. I also very much love all of the pop culture references and I enjoyed how they showed us the invention of everything from shoes to hugs. Alan Silvestri's score compounds the action and adventure and as always piles on the emotion. Then director of photography and visual genius Roger Deakins is credited as a visual consultant and his influence is easily seen in landscapes, jungles, fire and many other aspects. I think he was credited as a visual consultant in the rise of the guardians from right around the holiday season now don't get me wrong because I did like this film very much in fact but it suffers from the same thing as most films outside of Pixar the crudes disappoints when it comes to the development of characters and the arc of the story and narrative being told it takes so much more than to just make a film look good and the crudes comes close to a Disney Pixar outing but does come up a tad bit short the whole father-daughter relationship seemed cheaply put together, and that's especially in the wake of the brilliant parent-child relationship brought to life in Disney's Brave. However, they do what they can with this relationship, but also waste opportunities in other spots. I could have used less underlying biblical references. I kind of saw Adam and Eve, Noah's Ark, and other examples in there, and I just thought that all of this stuff was specifically noticeable. Finally, The Crudes tries to replace substance and a tight film with flash and style once too many times, but then again, the target audience of youngsters really isn't going to know or care. At right around one hour and 40 minutes, The Crudes has more than enough charm and humor to connect with youngsters, as well as with most adults, I would say. This film is paced well for a family movie and moves along quite quickly. It throws at you a steady flow of original and colorful creatures and I especially enjoyed the mouse elephants. Through all of this there is still time enough to learn some family lessons about relationships and also coming to terms with your fears and accepting evolution. Nick's real screen review is a very favorable three stars out of four and that's for the highly entertaining family film The Crudes. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time that I have today, and thank you so much for stopping by. If you have enjoyed this review, please click like below and give me a thumbs up, or subscribe to either or both Real Screen Reviews or We Live Film if you haven't yet already. I'm sure that I'll be returning soon enough with more movie and trailer reviews, and until then, remember people, this is Nick Iacobucci saying, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies, and thank you for your attention.